Hey guys, what's up? It's Ashley. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today's video is another what I eat in a day and super fun day in my life. This video is sponsored by Skillshare. Hi guys, how's it going? I missed y'all. I know I kind of disappeared off YouTube for a minute there, but I'm back. <laughs> um, starting off my day with a delicious smoothie. I added in some frozen mango, pineapple, bananas, and some vanilla protein powder from Sun Warrior and some coconut water as well. Um, if you guys want some Sun Warrior products, you can get 15% off your entire order using my code Blooming Raw. So feel free to take advantage of that. And yeah, I'm just gonna blend it on up. Um, I really, really wanted a smoothie that tasted like a tropical paradise, you know? I'm currently currently actually in South Carolina and it has just so many beautiful beaches here so I feel like it's only fitting to have this type of smoothie today and it's also like really hot here so I feel like this breakfast was the best choice and the consistency is just perfection it's like almost like a very soft serve like consistency this tasted so freaking bomb I decided to top off the first bowl with some fresh raspberries some hemp seeds some goji berries and for the other bowl I decided to add some fresh blueberries more hemp seeds and some blackberries and that's breakfast you guys super simple and easy to make and so freaking delicious i could literally probably eat like 10 bowls of this <laughs> like not even kidding it's so good um luke and i ended up sharing these beautiful bowls and yeah this is typically how we start off our mornings very slow we love to start off our mornings at a slower pace it just really sets the tone for a good day for us Like better like that. <laughs> wow. Oh, by the way, guys, Luke and I got loose this cute little sous chef outfit. I... <laughs> I am like so obsessed with it, but like honestly you guys, Luce hates it. Like he hates the crap out of this thing. He literally keeps trying to rip it off every single time we try to put it on him, but I think he looks absolutely adorable. Um, I just feel like he's just not used to wearing doggy clothes, so maybe he'll get used to it. He probably won't, honestly. <laughs> but anyways, a little later we headed out to Columbia to get some groceries and explore the city. Um, that's typically the first thing I like to do when I'm traveling is just stock up on as many fruits and vegetables as I can at the local grocery store or farmer's market nearby. Um, so we checked out this local Whole Foods in the city, which was really nice. Um, I still prefer Sprouts, honestly, over Whole Foods just because the prices are typically better at Sprouts. But yeah, I picked up some berries. Um, they also had a pretty large selection of peaches and nectarines, but sadly none of them are ripe, so I didn't get any. <laughs> and Luke also picked up some guacamole because he has a guacamole obsession. I kind of do too, honestly. <laughs> Who doesn't have a guacamole obsession? Um, I also picked up some pineapple and of course watermelon because I just crave it so much in the summertime. Sadly though, it's about to go out of season so I'm like super bummed out about that. But yeah, we also picked up some delicious apples as well. And then Luke ended up getting some food from the hot bar at Whole Foods for lunch. So he got lots of veggies, fried tofu, all that good stuff. And then we headed back to our place to do a bit of meal prep. So I typically like to keep my meals pretty simple throughout the day. I think simplicity is best in your meals when it comes to a raw food diet. Most of my lunches are like just quick and easy fruit mono meals, something that's super easy on my digestion gives me that energy that I need for the day. Um, I'm always on the go when I'm traveling, so I need something pretty quick. And fruit is the perfect meal for that. It's literally like the perfect fast food. And it's obviously so good for you as well. So I decided to chop up some apples, some watermelon, and some pineapple to take with me on a picnic that I'm going on later. I 
also decided to pack these two coconut waters. One has like watermelon in it and the other one has pink lady apples. I've never tried these before, so I was like super excited to take these along. And then once my basket was packed, it was time to head out to the lake. Luke and I enjoyed so much delicious fruit. Um, of course, he enjoyed his blue corn chips and guac. <laughs> um, and it was just super pretty out. The sun was shining, the views were super scenic and just absolutely breathtaking. Um, we also brought Luce along and he absolutely loved it as well. He had so much fun. He was running around like a little spaz as usual. <laughs> but anyways, I really, really needed this trip you guys you guys honestly have no idea um this trip was actually kind of like a spur of the moment kind of thing for us luke and i have been like going through so much personally so we just figured hey let's just take a trip and just like get away for a while and it was honestly just what i needed mentally because last month was tough like really 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 tough and i'll give you guys kind of like a little information on what's been going on so in august well really at the end of august it was like super crazy for me you guys already know that luke recently started grad school at the end of august so that whole process has just been like insane <laughs> just like trying to get him set up for success figuring out financial aid all that stuff like working out all the logistics involved with that it's just been crazy and um, recently our family dog Snowball that we had for 15 years passed away in August as well. So I've been really going through a lot emotionally over the past month. I've just been like feeling really down recently. So I feel like this trip was just what I needed to kind of like help get me out of that funk that I was in, you know? So I I've just been enjoying taking things more slow in my life recently, living more in the moment. And I feel like that's so important, especially for me and my mental health. Um, you know, going out in nature, getting a little change of scenery is like medicine for me. So I'm super thankful for this trip because it's like really helped just bring me back to balance and it's allowed me to find peace within myself and feel so at peace and tranquil in these special moments in my life. Now a brief pause to share a few words about today's sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community that offers so many amazing classes. They have creative ones like graphic and web design, filmmaking, photography, digital and print illustration, painting, and they even have some business focused ones like social media and content marketing, entrepreneurship, and more. So the class I'm taking right now is called Five Steps to Each Stress with Mindful Meditation by Dr. Teresa Scar. Teresa is a meditation instructor who has her PhD in social psychology, and she really just shares her passion about slow living, meditation, and the importance of adopting mindfulness practices in our daily lives. A lot of you guys know since I went raw vegan meditation is one of the practices that I took up and I'm super passionate about it because um, it's just personally worked wonders for me mentally and this class specifically has taught me how to better cope with stress um, and shown me effective ways on how to just calm my mind and just take things slow which is what I really needed considering all the recent events in my life so Skillshare also offers tons of classes centered around self-love mindfulness meditation yoga and overall wellness so feel free to check those out as well I'm offering the first thousand people to click on the link in the video description box below a free one month trial with Skillshare so feel free to check that out as well so after luke and i got done with our picnic we headed out to a botanical garden in the columbia area it was so stunning you guys and also like really crowded and hot <laughs> but um as you guys can see it was so beautiful i was truly just like blown away with how breathtaking the views were people were just like hanging out tubing along the river it was like super chill vibes everything was just super tranquil um, we took a short ride up to the botanical garden so that was fun at least for me <laughs> for luke honestly not so much because he has like really horrible motion sickness so yeah being on that bumpy ride was not fun for him like at all <laughs> but yeah this is what the garden looks like again so stunning it had the most beautiful flowers it had fruit plants and herbs and featured a really stunning water fountain with the most beautiful trees. Oh, it was like paradise. It was so amazing.
Then Luke and I checked out the water play area, which had like this cute little play place for the kids to just have fun and cool off. And then we checked out a tree house, which was really, really, really cool. So after the garden, Luke and I worked up quite the appetite from all the walking and playing around. So we checked out this vegan restaurant called Good Life Cafe. Um, it's all local, organic, gluten-free vegan food, and it was so amazing, you guys. The menu does have some raw options on it, I think like three or four options, I think. Um, I ordered their Asian noodle salad, their rainbow spring rolls, and their mushroom nori. That came with a kale salad and it was so freaking delicious. I also got a little fruit cup on the side. And then Luke got their buffalo cauliflower quesadilla and their buffalo tofu sandwich, which I found really strange because he really wanted spicy food that day. And normally he can't handle spicy foods, like at all. Like we were sitting there eating and he started eating his quesadilla and he was like, this is not that hot. And then like 10 minutes later, he's like literally chugging three glasses of water, including mine. So <laughs> yeah, I feel like he's been trying to eat more hot foods, like add more flavor and seasoning to his food. And I feel like I may have something to do with that. <laughs> just a little bit. But it's just like, dude, I mean, I mean, if you just can't handle it, you can't handle it, right? Like, just don't do it to yourself. Just stay away from the spicy food. <laughs> I just need a time out. <laughs> Was it that good? If you stuffed it, you ate your full salad and your spring rolls and you stuffed your fruit bowl, which I'm sure you're going to devour. I had my salad, I had two of my, my quesadillas, and I had half my burger and a couple fries, and that's I'm like not even weird. I have like a food baby right now. <laughs> yeah, guys, we eat a lot. Like, a lot. Of food and I get a lot of comments from people that are like dang y'all eat a lot of food yes yes we do <laughs> we're definitely foodies going out to eat is something that we absolutely love doing together and movies of course that's like literally the perfect date night for us um Luke and I are very simple people so like just give us some healthy and bomb food and good company and we're all good <laughs> So that night, Luke and I went to Stars and Strikes, which is like so fitting for us because we're like two big kids. <laughs> we just like love to have fun and arcades are definitely one of our favorite places to go. And I'm actually not bad at the games either. So that's a huge plus. <laughs> So after we got back to her hotel, we stayed in and just like watched movies and it was just the perfect end to the best day. All right, guys, that completes today's what I eat in a day and day in my life. Give this video a huge thumbs up if you enjoyed. Comment down below. Feel free to connect with me on socials all at Blooming Raw. Thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.